In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to draw some basic two-dimensional shapes like our like polygon, uh, as well as arcs, uh, splines, and polylines. So let's start it off. Uh, we have our sketch tab here, which is what we're going to use for this tool. We're going to, uh, we can make rectangles, specifying the corner of a rectangle, and then telling me uh, length and width. Now we have a rectangle. You can also make ellipses by center point, and then creating the first diameter, the second diameter, and there we go. We can also create similar shapes to those using the primitives. It's just creating um, the same object a different way. So I could make a 3 by 2 rectangle the same way. It's just created differently using the primitives. But for the purposes of this, we're going to use the sketch tool. The next type of tool that we can use uh, is an arc. Um, most of the time we're going to do a two-point arc, specifying the center of the radius of your arc, and then telling me what the radius is. And then it's going to ask you for specifying a start point and an end point. And you can also specify degrees if you want to go a specific amount of degrees. And then press enter to place it. Okay, the next type of tool that we're going to learn how to use is the polyline. Polyline is uh, very simply just a, a way for you to create a linear shape. by continuing or uh, creating multiple lines, thus the word poly. And then as soon as you come back to the original place, it will close your shape and it will finalize it. You can make a press enter to exit the sketch mode. So now we have a polylined shape here. We can also use the spline tool. So I'm going to get rid of some of these. We can also use the polyline or the spline tool right here. The spline is very similar to the polyline. So here we don't see anything different until we start placing the third spot or the third point. And as soon as you do, you can see that the contours of this line are changing as I'm creating different points. And of course we can exit and we can go back in and change those, those curves if we would like to. If we would like to uh, remove a certain point on our line, we can also go in and we can delete certain points of our line. So I went in there, I don't know if you saw it, but I went in, found a certain point, and pressed the delete key. Or you can just select the line and delete it. Okay, so there you go, the basics of drawing lines and splines.